Hi, this is Deb from Business Building Shortcuts. And today we're going to look at how to create a folder to your web host under a particular domain name and then how to upload a file into that folder. Because this is going to help you keep your web host organized just the way you might organize files into folders on your computer hard drive. You don't just go ahead and upload tons of different kinds of files randomly into your My Computer. You create My Documents and then you might have subfolders under that. You do the same thing if you're going to be uploading a variety of files and information to your web host. So let's go look and see what that might look like and the types of folders you might create. You might create one for audios, videos, PDF files, courses, teleseminars, anything you can think of you can create a folder for. So let's go check it out on our web host. I'm going to open up Coffee Cup and we're going to go into our demonstration blog site which is called Shortcut Site. So I'll meet you over there. Okay, here we are in my Coffee Cup and I'm not connected so I'm just going to go ahead and connect to my particular server. I'll go into public HTML and then I'll look for the domain names. These are various domain names that we own so I'm going to go into shortcut site. Now in here you can see that I've got stuff already. I've got various folders. I've got folders for my WordPress installation. I have folders for a test blog that I was doing as I was setting up for our Build a Profitable Business course and download folders. So, um, But let's say that I wanted to create a folder called PDF and I wanted all of my PDF files to go into that so that I didn't have a mess like I do have down here with just a whole bunch of random files living down at the bottom. All you need to do if you're using Coffee Cup Free FTP and if you're using a different FTP program uh, you should find something similar to this. See up here this little folder when I hover over that folder with the little red star it says create a new folder. If I click that it's going to ask me for the folder name and I'm going to call it PDF. And there it is. Now when I double click on that you can see that there's nothing in it and up here it will show you I'm in public HTML shortcutsite.com PDF. So I want to put a PDF file into this new PDF folder. So let's do that next. It would work the same way whether you're uploading a Word document, an Excel spreadsheet, a zip file, or a PDF file. You can even do it this way if you're uploading an audio or a video. Uh, however, if you want them to play on your site, then you need to make sure to upload your player files as well. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then um, don't go there yet. So anyway, I've got over here on the left side, this is stuff that's on my computer under my Business Building Shortcuts folder. On the right side here that we've been working in is what's on my site. And you can clearly see that because it says my computer, my site. And I want to upload the Twitter magic PDF. So you, I would just click on that. I would open up the folder that I want. Let's look at that again. Here are all my folders within Shortcut Site. I would just go to PDF and I would double click that so that it's open. And you can see it up here. PDF, that's the folder that's open. Then I would go back over here to Twitter Magic and I would simply select that file and click Upload. And there it is. Now it's inside shortcutsite.com, PDF, and then twittermagic.pdf. So now let's go and create a link in our WordPress blog so that you can see how we'll create this so that you can create a link that will open, that someone can use that link to access this file. So I'm going to go back over and log into my WordPress admin for my shortcut site blog. Okay. Here we are inside my demo blog on shortcutsite.com, WP Admin. What I want to do is create a new post so that I can show you how this will look. So you would just go to New Post, Add New, and this will be a test file download post. 
and then you would simply click in here and add text there as much text as you want and then you would put your link in here now you can do a, two different kinds of links you can put in the actual URL that you want to go to or you can link it using anchor text link and that's what I'm going to show you it would work the same way with your HTML but let's just say we want to go to something like click here to download helps if I can spell so then I would type in what I want it to say and then I would select that text and go here to these little boxes and see where it says insert edit link I'm going to I've selected the text and I'm going to go up there to adding a link and it's going to bring me here and I will put in my URL shortcutsite.com forward slash PDF forward slash Twitter magic dot PDF remember that was the shortcut site was the name of of my site PDF was the folder I created and then the name of the file was Twitter magic dot PDF this target is going to let you choose whether or not it opens in the same window meaning it'll move away from the blog post and open or whether you want it to open in a new window and that's what I usually choose and then you would just click insert now you can see how it's blue highlighted text you might also do the same thing over here if you wanted to and then you could um, have two places they would be able to click but let's go ahead and where's my we're going to save that and then we'll go look and see uh, how that works from the front end okay I scrolled all the way down to the bottom and I clicked publish or and then now it says update post but when before when I did it it said publish and then I would go over here and click on visit site and it will take me to my site now my home page is a little different because of what I've been doing on this site but right here is that latest blog entry that I created test file download that's what we called it so I'll click on that and there it is add text here click here to download Twitter magic and we're done so I'm gonna click here and it opens up a download box for me uh, for the PDF file so I could now save that anywhere on my computer and work with it from there so it's just that simple to create a folder within your domain name on your web hosting and create a new folder for organizational purposes and then upload a file to that folder and find a way that people can access it you would do it that same way in your HTML editor and upload that page so I hope this was helpful and uh, we'll see you soon bye if you found this how-to video helpful you can go over to our blog at businessbuildingshortcuts.com and where we have a lot of other videos that you can look at as well as other helpful tips and tools to use to get online quickly we'll also invite you to our free teleseminar series when you join our list so you have a great day bye for now